Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we have top 10 perfumes for the fall time. You asked for this video, so here we have it. 10 perfumes that I think they are absolutely perfect for the colder weather and I will definitely wear all of them. Um, we have some new perfumes as well that I didn't haul yet, so stay tuned for the hauls because more are coming. More are coming, yeah. I know, I know, I had already three hauls, I'm gonna have two more, and if from those two hauls, I have two perfumes that I think they're just absolutely perfect for the fall time. So, before we start, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, first perfume. First we have Zadig and Voltaire, uh, this is her. This, oh, I absolutely love this perfume. This one, it's creamy, it's milky, it has whipped cream and it has chestnut. It's very nutty, um, has a lot of sandalwood in it and it's very, very, very creamy. Siage, it's amazing, longevity, it's amazing. It's a very nice sandalwood sweet sandalwood perfume and um, that's everything that i can say i highly highly recommend this one i know might not be everyone's cup of tea because i said before one of my friends said that this one smells like uh, a carpet and now i, I kind of get what she means but still in my opinion this one this one is just a gorgeous gorgeous scent and very different from what is out there right now on the market. So yeah, Zadig and Voltaire, this is her. Next we have a new one. We have from Gerla Shalimar Souffle. This, I really like this one, I have to tell you. This one is not the intense version, it's just the regular uh, souffle. And this one is a spicy oriental lemon, I would say. It has some vanilla. Yes, but I don't think the vanilla is the star in this perfume. It's more the lemon. But don't think it's a, a fresh lemon. No, no, no. It's a woody, spicy lemon. Again, very different from what I have in my collection. I'm not going to do a full review right now. So stay tuned for, for the haul. But I would say, people are saying that this one smells like a lemon pie. I can see that. I can see that because... The lemon is not as citrusy as in other perfumes, but it's not that creamy and it's not that sweet to say that this one, it's a lemon pie, in my opinion. But the scent is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's going to shine in the fall time. So yeah, uh, Shalimar Souffle by Gerla. Really, really like this one. Next we have Serge Lutin Umbois Vani. This... I said before, when I first got this one, I didn't like it. I thought it's too medicinal. Now, all I'm getting is a waxy, yeah, waxy vanilla, a little bit ambery and a little bit bakery. It's a different vanilla. It's a beautiful vanilla. It doesn't really project, I have to tell you. The last thing part of my skin was decent, was well, like five, six hours, but it doesn't really project. So that's not the best part of this perfume but the scent i really really like the scent right now as i said before wasn't the biggest fan but now i really really enjoy this perfume and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna wear it the entire fall so yeah umbavani by serge luta then we have another vanilla perfume whispers in the library by mezzo margiela this this one it's a waxy vanilla a little spicy a little bit woody it smells like like an old library an old dusty li library in my opinion it's very weird to describe the scent like that but this is how this one smells like an old room full of books really like the vanilla i think the dry down is the best part of this perfume that the opening gets a little bit too spicy for me but still, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful perfume, different from other mainstream perfumes. And yeah, again, same problem as Serge Lutin. This one doesn't really project and also doesn't really last on my skin. Comparing to By the Fireplace, that one, it's abysmal. This one, not really. Not really, but the scent, 
the scent is absolutely stunning so yeah that's why this one is in this top 10 so whispers in the library by nozo margiela next we have yves saint laurent libre intense i said a billion times i'm not the biggest fan of the original it's just not sweet enough for me i think it's a nice scent but it's just not for me this this on the other hand this one it's lavender and vanilla okay these are the two main notes it's still pretty unisex in my opinion the vanilla is not too sweet i, I don't find this a sweet vanilla but definitely it's sweeter than the original one it's rich it's, it's it smells expensive it smells very expensive and elegant i really really like this one the sillage and the longevity were very very good at least on my skin i know that People were complaining, were complaining about the original. I don't own the original, I don't know, but with this one, I got good six, seven hours. The sillage was there, so yeah, I really, really, really like this one. Yves Saint Laurent, Libre Intense. Next, we have for gourmand lovers Lolita Lempica, Lolita Land. This smells like Peach and apricot gem. I said a billion times, imagine you take, you have an apricot gem and you put sugar on top. It's extremely, extremely sweet. It's very sticky, it's very sweet. It's a beast mode. The CIs, the longevity, they're absolutely amazing. It's very inexpensive. Um, on some people, people on Fragmatica were saying that they either love this one or they hate this one. So. For me, it's a total love. I know that uh, so many of you bought this one because of me and I'm so happy that you like it because you told me in the comments that you absolutely love this perfume. So I highly, highly recommend. Again, I don't know if it's going to work for everyone's skin chemistry, but with, for me, this one is just perfect, perfect, perfect. It's apricot jam with sugar on top. So yeah, Lolita Land by Lolita Lempica. Next we have one perfume that is actually discontinued but you can still find it online and i'm talking about mugler alien essence absolute this this one it's alien dna and then with this thick syrupy caramel i don't think it has caramel in it i have to be i don't think it has caramel on it but for me this one smells like uh, the syrup the caramel syrup that they use in, at Starbucks so imagine you have alien and then you just put the Starbucks syrup on top it's so good it's so sticky it's so sweet it's but it's still mysterious it still has that alien DNA which is absolutely stunning I do prefer this one way 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 much more than the original alien it's just it's so good I know you cannot try this one in store but if you like Alien, you'll probably like this one. If you're not the biggest fan of Alien, but you like sweet perfumes, probably you're also gonna like this one. But if you don't like Alien, just don't like Alien, so don't buy this one. But this, it's... Oh, and this Mugler, obviously, is gonna be very long-lasting. The projection is gonna be amazing. So really, really, really like this one. Probably I'll have to buy a backup because this one is discontinued and it's getting pretty, pretty hard to find uh, online. So yeah. Alien Essence Absolute by Mugler. Then we have another new one, Poison Girl by Dior. You guys told me so, 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 so many times I have to buy this perfume. And you were right. Okay, you were right like always. I tested this one. Actually, I tested this one a long time ago in store and I wasn't really impressed. But now... This one is tonka bean, it's vanilla. For me, it has this a little bit of like a waxy, lipsticky vibe. Like a, wa like a waxy lipstick, if it makes any sense. I'm not really getting the orange. People are saying that this, more exactly the eau de toilette bowl, so this one smells kind of like an orange creamsicle. I'm not getting that. I'm getting like a very sweet syrupy waxy lipstick beautiful beautiful scent and um, i would have to say the sillage and the longevity they were all right six hours but 
nothing crazy nothing crazy i was expecting just a little bit more from dior but it's okay it's all right it's not it's not it's nothing bad it's just it's just not a beast mode okay so poison girl by dior the eau de parfum really like this one next we have scandal by night by jean paul gaultier this this is my love this is my baby um i had the original scandal it was okay it was all right then i tested scandal by night i wasn't impressed i tested again i wasn't impressed and i tested again and i was like oh my god why i don't have this in my collection so immediately i had to buy it for me this one is just the older sister of the original scandal it's just sweeter it's just thicker it's just very sexy very appropriate for the night time uh, for the colder weather i think in in the heat i think this one doesn't project that much and it doesn't show what it can do but in in the colder weather this is just oh, this is so good honestly this is like a honey bomb it's it's just so good yeah so i absolutely love this one scandal by night by jean paul gaultier and the last one we have la nuit trésor à la folie by lancome this you guys asked me a billion times which one i prefer à la folie or the original la nuit trésor because i have both of them i love both of them but i have to say i kind of start to like this one a little bit more i think this one is just a refined version of the original the original is like this smoky vanilla rose perfume with some pear in it this one is just more creamy it's the vanilla it's more intense in this one i think this one is more like a vanilla perfume i absolutely love this one same with the same thing as with the scandal i think this one it's amazing for the nighttime amazing for the cold weather it's just so 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 good if you never tried this one definitely go and check this one out i think it's just amazing i think it's one of the best cold weather sweet sexy perfumes so yeah la nuit trésor à la folie by lancome and that was my top 10 for the fourth time guys and um, please let me know what perfumes you like what perfumes you are gonna wear this fall and if you agree with my list i want to know do you think these are appropriate for the fall time or maybe i should wait and wear them in the winter time or just don't wear them at all or i don't know so yeah that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye